Well, my inbox blew up and people want me to do a video about something called making the bus monitor cry and I have it linked in the video description. Um, a lot of people wanted me to, they got upset because a lot of YouTube partners or people with AdSense capabilities are making videos with ads on them, um, basically profiting off the torture of this elderly lady in this video. And I'm to the point that it's just, I, not so much that I don't care, but it's just, it's just a worthless cause to preach out against people that make money on YouTube now off of a tragedy video. And <laughs> not that I'm giving up, but I'm not going to take time out of my day and my videos to make that a concerted effort to pull out these jerk offs anymore because frankly there's just way too many of them on the internet nowadays. But that aside, of course I'm not going to put ads on this video because I have integrity unlike them. Um, that point addressed, the actual video itself made me disgusted. It made me disgusted to live in the same society as these teenage kids that something like this that has gone viral, it's going to go around the world and this is what the world is going to see American teenage kids as. And by the way, I don't have a hat on and this is what my hair looks like when I wake up in the morning, so just deal with it. Um, it, it makes me disgusted as a fellow American citizen. It makes me disgusted to know that that parents are partly responsible for raising their kids to think that the actions of these kids was okay. And again, check out the video linked in the video description. It's the only thing I'm putting in the video description. Um, you only got to watch 30 seconds of it to get the point because it's it's just very repetitive. It's it's a group of teenage boys. Uh, they appear to be in their mid-teens at the latest. And they're just berating this lady, this elderly lady. She appears to be, I would guess to say, latest 80 years old. Uh, could be older, I don't know. I, I'm not a good judge of age for elderly people. But it's just constant harassment, degrading her, and her just livelihood and I mean I, I, I watch the whole thing and I, I can watch pretty much any video that's seen on the internet and just be able to tolerate it but I was I was getting furious watching this and I actually was gonna shoot this video right away but I just I just had to sit down and just just dissolve for a half hour before I made this video because I just I just wanted to get some sort of composure here and I know people might be like, oh, it's just, it's just overreacting. It's just some kids harassing some lady being bullies. <sighs> it's a lot more than that. It's a lot more than that. And it is scary if this is the absolute type of behavior and respect that teenage kids have for elderly. And see now, I'm speaking in general terms now. I'm calling it just all teenage kids. That's a reality we all have to deal with because if more acts like this come out, this is how teenage kids are going to be seen as. And no one on this bus stopped these kids. Everyone ganged up from what it looks like there was about maybe five or six of them that were in this section of the bus that were repeatedly calling this lady a fat ass, saying um, s s such classy lines as, hey, do you have any family left? Because I bet they killed themselves just because they knew you. Uh, do you have money for rent? I'll give you two cents so you can pay your rent and just every sentence pretty much ended with fat ass just just constantly just driving the point in and These these kids are gonna they're gonna learn things out the hard way because going viral on the internet and getting society against you is something you just don't want now I'm not condoning or saying anyone should find these kids and beat them up. I'm not insane like that but the it's safe to say the identity of these kids are eventually going to be revealed and that is something that's going to carry along with you forever. I mean, how does it feel knowing that, you know, you could be going for a job interview and I don't know, maybe the guy, you know, researching your background history just happens to type your name in on the internet and finds out you were one of these kids on that bus incident. You think you're going to stand a chance of getting a decent job later on in the future? Maybe Maybe lose your college acceptance because of this? Please, you kids, you kids are going to be known out there. You may be minors and the news might not be able to report your identity, but the internet will. 
Uh, I, I hate to update you kids and people like this that, that want to show off in front of the camera for their friends, but that is a real stupid way to ruin your life. Real stupid way. I hope you kids are happy that you ganged up on an 80-year-old woman. Oh, congratulations. Your street cred must be through the roof, kids. Now, like I said, they're going to find out the hard way what it's like to get the internet against them and go viral. Because the internet can be a mean, vicious place, and trust me, I know that firsthand. But these kids, now, I know they might not quote-unquote deserve everything that's coming their way because they are just kids, but it's, it's almost like a message needs to be sent. A message needs to be sent that if you do something like this, and if you're a bully and you're a group mentality bully like this, that there will be consequences. And a group like this has to be outed and has to be shown for everyone to say, look, these kids did this, so for the next group that tries to do this, here's what happens, because they ruin their lives because of this. Now, again, I'm not saying the kids should be found and beat up or anything like that. I don't even know what I'm saying, because I'm just, I'm just so disgusted. I'm just so disgusted, I can't even think straight making this video. And again, this is, it's, these guys are the group warrior mentality. I know at one point the old lady said, well, I know where you kids live. And the one guy was like, well, I'll kick your effing ass if you come to my house. No, you won't. No, you won't. You won't do shit unless your boys are there with you. Please. These are group thugs. They don't do shit on their own. These are the first guys that run. One of their peers threatens them to a fight or someone that's a little bit bigger and stronger than them shows up and wants to pick a fight. These kids are a dime a dozen. They're chump-ass pussies when it comes down to it. Just to see that they're, they're physically touching this lady, like poking her, calling her fat. Now, this reminds me of, and you guys might be way too young. I know most of you are way too young to, to know this name. Kitty Genovese. Now, this was a lady who was mugged in front of the housing complex that she lived in. Um, a, a mugger came out, robbed her, beat her severely, and there was, I think, 30-some-odd people in the complex that looked out, saw this happen, and did nothing. And someone eventually yelled out the window, said, hey, stop that. The mugger ran away, and then when the guy went back in, the mugger came back out, beat her again. They would go away, come back, beat her again, basically just beat the life out of this lady. It's mentalities like this, and everyone in that building that watched on, no one called the cops. No one came out to stop it. And once, you know, the police talked to everyone, they found out there was 30-some-odd people that witnessed this and did nothing. Now, I know this is a little bit of a stretch because, you know, the kids didn't beat up the lady on the bus or anything like that. But what I'm talking about is the mentality, just in the minds of people not wanting to do anything... Or just this mentality of, hey, it's okay, we're just going to go with the group here. Because no one in that apartment complex was doing anything, so why should you be the sole person that tries to make things right? Why should one person in that group of five or six kids be the one to say, guys, let's, let's calm down. We, we made the point. We have berated her for a minute. Let's not go on for another ten. Because that's what happened. Not a single one of these kids had just the balls or the logic in their mind to say, guys, let's just chill out. We made our point. We've called her fat 50 times. No one, no one in that group stopped. It's that group mentality that when I see that in society, it just makes me so disgusted, just so disgusted that human beings can evolve to a point and again, I know these kids are still technically evolving because they're both immature and just mind and just their upbringing and everything. But to understand that you can humiliate a human being and know how to fully humiliate them and not understand how humiliating that is, I just, I will never get. I will never get because 
they knew how to degrade this woman and they did a damn good job. No one's going no to tell them they didn't do a good job degrading this woman. But the fact that none of them had that little conscious voice in their head that said, maybe this is wrong. This is the society we live in, people. Well, I don't know if I want to label every other country's teenagers the same way these American teens are going to label America as. And to those kids, if any of them see this, um, congratulations, going viral on the internet. You're an internet sensation. Have fun with all the benefits that brings. And I just want to know, I just want to know, how, how did it feel to know that you picked on an 80-year-old woman with, with a group of you? Would any of you, if you were just by yourself, have the balls to say that? No, because you had all your friends laughing around with you. You're the same group of kids that picks on the fat kid in school because you know he, he's slow or he can't fight. And when there's five of you, you can gang up on him. And maybe that fat kid doesn't have five friends to gang up on back with you. This is the society we live in, people. And I can tell you, I'm just, I'm damn disgusting. So, well, I was about ten times calmer than I thought I was going to be making this video. I'm impressed with that. Um, take care. Have a nice day, people. I, I've got nothing left to say. Again, link for the videos in the video description. And I, <laughs> as the teenagers out there, how do you, how do you feel that this is this is a representation of you as peers, whether you teens like it or not. This is a representation of the American teenager, because the world is seeing this right now. And the world is going, wow, those American teens have no respect for the elderly. And they're some ignorant sons of bitches. Unbelievable. Have a great day, everyone.